Okay, so ever since I can remember, I always really wanted to be wealthy. Um, worked really hard, studied finance in school. I was like, oh man, I gotta meet a super wealthy guy. Went and worked for him between my junior and senior year. Guy worth hundreds of millions of dollars, big mentor of mine. And I'm like, oh, I just really need to know how to do this. And he said, from day one, no matter what you earn, whether it's 10,000 or $100,000, invest 20% of it into boring things that won't lose money. I was like, what? That's it? That's the advice? Okay, I guess. I was so disappointed leaving this meeting. Um, now, I'm starting to understand where he's coming from, and I want to give this little water example to show exactly how it, how it happens. So one of the things that he also taught me was that your lifestyle is addictive. So whatever money that you spent last year, if you spend less money this year, you'll, you'll feel like a loss. So understanding that our lifestyle is addictive, I want to show this little example. Here's the money that you're earning in a year, and here's you. If you spend all of what you earn, you drowned. Okay? That's how I feel about it. Now, if we take instead, take 20%, and we just save that for later. Well, that doesn't seem like that much. Not really that much of a difference to this other one here. And now, your head's above water. Okay, so now we're gonna do this for all the next five years, first five years of work. This works doesn't matter how much you earn. All this is based off percentages, so it doesn't matter if you earn 30,000, 100,000, 200,000, doesn't matter. So this does take a lot of discipline though. Taking your first year and saying, wow, I'm gonna take 20% and I'm gonna invest in something that doesn't lose money that earns about a 7% return. So of that, all that discipline from that first year, this is all the investment that you'll get. That looks like it stinks. Second year, okay, third year, still not much. Here's the fourth and fifth year. So after five years, that's all you have. And that's a lot of discipline, spending only 80% of what you earn. And, but if you spend it all, you've got nothing. So here is where it starts to get interesting. So let's go another five years. And here's five years of saving 80%. We're going to pour that in there. That's all the investing of 80%. Now, this is how much we're earning on our 7% return over those next five years. So after a decade, if you spend it all, again, if lifestyles are addictive, which I do believe that they are, here's what you have if you spend it all in your first decade. Here's what you have if you earn the exact same salary from day one of you working um, until uh, 10 years from now, and you are earning about a 7% return. Let's go a little bit further. Let's go to the next decade. So same, again, we're only earning the exact same amount. It's crazy to think that that would even happen because you're super ambitious and super hard worker. So that's, that was the, um, the investing, the part that you were investing. Now, this is how much you're gonna be earning with your, uh, with your investments. So here's the investment gains that you get from that so again 20 years from starting here's if you are like 80% of America this is what you have after 20 years nothing and if you did what this guy said which was doesn't matter if you earn 30,000 or a hundred thousand or a million you took 20% and you invested it in something that would not go down or would unlikely go down and earn about a 7% return. This cup's getting a little big. So let's say that you started when you're 20, 
we're only 40 now and we've already got all this money here. Now, again, eight out of 10 people are gonna be doing this option. This is work forever or hope that the government takes care of you. If you did this 20% option, let's go for the next decade. And here's what you're investing in that decade. And then here's what you'll earn in that decade on your investments. So that looks pretty sweet. So let's say you started when you were 20, you're 50 now, and this is where you're at. Now there's a good story about two 50 year olds and one works out every single day, goes hard, eats everything exactly right. And one eats right about five days a week, works out like three times a week. Which one's in better shape? Um, it's the second one because he's been doing it since he was 20 and the other guy just started doing it a year ago. So investment's the same way. So even if you saved 50% last year, you have very little if you've been doing what 80% what of people are doing now, which is spending it all. So you're this 20% person. Let's go into the next decade. Again, we're, ta we're taking a 7% return. Here's what you're gonna be. Here's you. You haven't earned any more money. Whatever you started with a bunch of years ago, you're just going with it. And then here's where you're, with well, the money you're gonna earn in that decade on your investments. Wow, okay. That looks like retirement to me if you wanted to retire. And again, if your lifestyle is addictive, then uh, then if you were needed to spend everything that you made, you got you still have nothing. And this person has this. Getting a little bit big here, so let's see if we can. Sorry. You wouldn't believe how long it took me to measure all this stuff out. Okay. So, just for the fun of it, we're if you decided to work, you could for the next decade, you could use this and put that in there, but let's just say you're not going to. You're not gonna work for this next decade. We're just gonna see where the investment takes us. Well, it's gonna be like that. I have not been historically great at pouring this. Uh-oh, my investment. That's okay. I've got so much money, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay. So, it does not matter if you earn $20,000 or $100,000. If you invest 20%, this is what your nest egg looks like at 70. That's just the math. And I, I, I wish that I could say, man, when he told me that, I just went, all right, day one, I'm going for it. I didn't. I just started doing this stuff more recently and I'm starting to understand the importance of it. And I wish someone would have harped it into me earlier. Now, it, if you're 30, let's say, the math still works out. It's not too late to stop. It's not too late to say, okay, this is actually important. I need to learn how to invest and not be one of the eight out of 10 people that's spending everything that they earn. And basically, if you don't do this option, and it doesn't need to be 20%. 20% is what my mentor told me, and it's what how we did the math here. There's a lot of people that say 10%. There's a lot of people that do a lot more. And so, um, yeah, I hope that, uh, now I actually had heard this in so many different places in a bunch of different personal finance books. Again, my mentor had told me about it and I was like, yeah, 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 cool piece of advice. Yeah, 20%, great. And then I've only started doing this for the last few years and I think that it is very, very important. Um, and I hope that you have, that this is one of the things that helps push you in, the direction like I had a handful of different things pointing, pushing me in this direction. If you have any questions about it, about what sort of investments to use or any of the, those other things, I hope to be posting more of those sorts of stuff. 
but there's a big difference between this and this. 20%. Thank you.